as we continue to travel through Ireland, we hit a credible 18-hole golf course called Greystone Golf Club. Now, it's a hidden gem, but it's a private golf club. No tee times? Sometimes it's tough to get a tee time at these authorized clubs. That's us. We are authorized. We got the okay. No tea time. Hey, how are you? So, I was hoping if there's a tea time today for one person. Um, let me see now. I think the earliest we could get you out would be a bit later on. That's what it looked like online. I, I assumed that um, it was the case, which is good. If you you got any bite to eat upstairs or anything? Yeah, the kitchen's open, but uh, the earliest thing I'll be able to get you out is six o'clock, I think. Oh shit. It's I tee off at six. I probably just play only a few holes. You only get nine in, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. And is there a nine hole rate or anything like that? Does uh, it... Yeah, it'd be like 20 euro. Yeah, I'll wait. I walked here, so I don't. Yeah. I'm kind of committed to like, play here. Probably get out before then, to be honest. Hey, I'll go get a bite to eat. Yeah. And I'll come kind of linger then. around for a little bit. I'll yeah. I got to get some stuff anyway, but I, I just, it looks like a beautiful course, so I'm grateful just to get out and yeah, play no, like, four yeah. holes. I'll be happy, you know? If you come down. Maybe around half three back into me. I should be able to get you out, to be honest. Two tea boxes here. It may cause some confusion, but the guy was very clear. It's a par three. And we were lucky to get a tea time here at this membership golf course. It's because Harry Colt, famous golf designer in 1895, built this course, but he's also known for some other major golf courses when he teamed up with George Crump to build a golf course in 19. 18 called Pine Valley, which we were lucky enough to stand outside of. Headed back to Greystone, well, this course was a magnificent golf club on our 10 golf courses around Ireland. And that's because you get picturesque backdrops of the Wicklow Mountains. The course is in incredible shape, and at the end of the video, we'll be asking if it's worth it. Now, you'd be lucky to get a tea time here, but it is open to the public. We'll go through some of the green fees, the history, and just talk about this incredible golf course, an opportunity to play, and most importantly, to show here on the channel. A budget channel focused on cheap, affordable golf within your area. Have it been founded in the Victorian era, this golf club's first president was once chairman of the old Irish Free State Senate. And throughout its long history, it's seen many golfers and other VIP politicians and international icons throughout its years. Now it stays true to its Ryder Cup roots with a Ryder Cup room located inside. And we'll talk about some of the other history of the Ryder Cup at this golf course. But one of the major changes to the golf course the golf club has changed multiple times but the golf course was in 1996 when they redesigned the front nine opening it officially in 1998 of course also saw some major updates in the early 2000s but all these updates stayed true to the inspiration harry colt provided when building this golf course originally with the classic characteristics of a course of his time and error with being a course over 100 years old it's definitely a walkable course in regards to length, although you can find yourself get into some trouble when you walk up some of these hills with the elevation changes, but the picturesque views you're about to see make it well worth it. Now, if you were to play from those back tees, which we highly recommend, it's only 5,315 meters. One of the interesting characteristics of this golf course would be the scorecard. Upon walking to your next hole, you might take a look and have a name associated with that hole. For instance, the first hole is called the Pig Holly. Number four is the Garden. Number six, the Campbells. Number seven is the View Rock. And, and the list goes on and on. Now, the front nine is a par 35. The back nine being a par 34. By the time you end up playing this golf course, you're looking at a par 69 to close it out. And being just a short ride from Dublin off of the Dart Line, about a 20 minute ride in a short Uber even, if you wanted to walk to just a mile, you'll find you're here yourself at Greystone Golf Club. For 35 euros, you could play this golf course. It's open to all visitors that are willing to most likely wait for a tee time as other members play this course. Prices do pick up in the summertime to about 45 euros so still not a uh, you don't break the bank here at this golf course which 
it clearly looks like a private golf course. We had the course to ourselves right around 3 o'clock, 3.30, teeing off. A few people behind us still teeing off, but still an incredible golf course to get out here. And the weather was good. You know, lucky we got some good picturesque views of this course that we were able to bring to you. The sand areas, magnificent shape. Uh, there's just nothing to argue about a good golf course that's a good price. In regards to a rating of this golf course, Golf Pass has it at a 4.3. Google has it at a 4.6 out of 5. Other golf outlets like Golf Now have it at a solid 4.4. I'll have to put this a little bit higher on our list of other golf courses we visited during our trip to Ireland with its picturesque views within Greystone. And just being a short trip off that dart line you can find yourself at an affordable golf course where you don't have to pay so much money to get back or even have a car so i'm going to put this one at an 8.2 as we continue to travel through ireland there's just a few more golf courses we have left to pick from if you made it this far keep a lookout for more videos to come as we continue to travel the world on this budget golf channel this is Houston, twilight golfer